What's going on, you guys? Um, I wanted to share with you something I'm super excited about that we're doing with CRISPR. Uh, we're working on like a complex interactive music system for this game. This is my first real experience with something like that. And it's been a lot of fun. So I figured I'd just kind of share with you this little sequence that we put together um, and uh, kind of show you what's going on under the hood and how this all works. Because I find it very interesting and I figure some of y'all out there who are working in video game music and that kind of stuff would also find this kind of cool. So CRISPR is a sci-fi action horror shooter that my good friend Clinton Hughes is working on and he's an awesome solo dev super talented dude super nice dude he's kind of putting his whole journey on on YouTube and stuff so I'll link to all his channels in the description very much recommend you go check him out awesome dude awesome project I'm really excited to be a part of it um, so here we're working on, I can't tell you too much about the game. I'm only going to share stuff that Clinton has shared and I'll be super vague about everything else, but we're working on kind of a, um, a callback sequence in the game where the main character is, we're learning about a piece of his past. He was in the, uh, he was in the Marines and this is a section of the game where you, you start off kind of wandering through the desert. So we wanted this kind of creepy, tense, ambient vibe. And then stuff goes down and you get into a shootout and then there's a section where something really suspenseful happens and that transitions back into a more intense shootout until you get to the end of the level basically what's going on so we wanted to be able to make each of those sections minus the tension port because that's going to be kind of a uh, a cinematic like a cutscene but the ambient portion and the two shootouts, we want to be able to loop as long as possible because the player can take as long as they want to get through those sections and then seamlessly transition into each other. So here's kind of how I've done that. I'm in F mod and we broke the track into a couple of sections. So we've got this ambient section right here. We've got the shootout sections, which I've broken into a combat layer and a stealth layer and we wanted to be able to transition between that really easily as well um, then we have our little cutscene, our tension cinematic right here and then our final shootout so first and foremost we have our ambient loop and um, this was the first little cool thing I learned in FMOD I'm just going to play the loop for you so you can hear it and then I'll show you what's going on Okay, we've already looped. So what's really cool in FMOC is when you're making like ambient music and stuff, to try and get it to loop is always a pain because you have the, the swell in when you first start and you don't want the volumes to drop too tough. So, you know, you try and take the reverb tail from the end of the section and put it at the beginning, but then your swell doesn't feel as nice. So what FMOD do allows you to do, which is really handy, if I double click on this loop region, you'll see that it opens up this little middle section. So this is the same loop, and I've cut the loop region off before the tail of the track. So the loops, it loops over before the, the file is ended. So what FMOD lets you do is it basically crossfades into itself. So while this first loop is going down, the loop that has now started over is crescendoing into itself. So you never actually lose music. It, crossfades into itself which makes ambient loops so much easier um, you really never notice the, the music start over it's just super cool okay so next we've got a transition into this first shootout loop right so I've got my transition region here set to go to the shootout and what's cool about this is 
with these regions, you can set it to transition at any point in this loop. So if we're playing from the loop, it's set, you can see down here, um, to transition to the shootout when my act change has switched to shootout. So right now we're in ambience. If I switch to shootout, now we're in the shootout. And this is parameters that you connect in Unreal or Unity where, you know, the code triggers a, a um, parameter change and it'll tell FMOD what to do. So the other piece of automation I've got going on is between these two sections. So right now it's probably not going to stay this way, but it's set to um, fade out the combat layer if the player has gone, I think, seven seconds without being seen. So you'll see as I, uh, as I slide this timer up, player goes long without being seen, the intensity of the music dramatically changes. And now we're in a stealth loop. Now you can sneak around, not get noticed, try and take out some enemies without alerting the whole group. And if you get seen, we're back in it. And then again, I've got this transition region. So at any point in this loop, the player can trigger our cutscene, and we go into this fall animation. And then the fall animation is set to just, as soon as it hits this flag, we go into our last shootout. Now we just finish up the level. And again, in here, we've got this timer set. So if you go for, you know, seven seconds without getting seen, you're in stealth mode. And then you get seen. This is just so much fun to play with. Um, if you have not dug around in fmod and you develop games or you write music for games i highly recommend it it's a lot of fun and it really helps uh wrap your head around you know how to look at music differently so that you're creating music that works well for these interactive loops it's really just it's really eye-opening to play with a tool like this and see what you can do with your music files. It, it changed a lot for the way I look at how I'm writing music now. So I hope you found that interesting. Um, it's a lot of fun to play with this tool. I highly recommend it. It's free. So um, yeah, appreciate you guys watching and uh, I'll see you in the next one.